Hey, it's Amanda coming to you live from the great Arctic North. Um, I just wanted to do a quick um, weekly update of progress on my capstone. So I've been going back and forth with Renee via email. Um, we did reach out um, to Pacific um, and Dr. Berkman um, to talk about um, taking on this project. So we're working on getting a time scheduled on Google Hangouts, even with the international time delay, uh, to talk with them further about their interest in, um, in helping with this project. I think one of the places that we kind of landed um, was that we would like to be doing um, research base versus action base. Um, and so uh, I'm currently doing a little bit more domestic research um, on uh, medication abortion and, um, and the widespread use internationally. So uh, that's pretty exciting. We also found that um, the International Conference for Family Planning is actually being held in Kigali um, in November of 2018. So one of the deliverables, I think, is going to be drafting and submitting an abstract to present at that conference um, to present a research paper um, at that conference, which I think, I don't know, I have no guarantee that I'll will be selected, but um, I think actually going through the process of, of drafting the research plan um, may be pretty dang close to the, d the full deliverable for my actual capstone. The International um, Family Planning Conference is being backed by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and I happen to have a contact there who um, I met the last time I was in Rwanda. He's a doctor named Christopher Rustatara, and um, he works there, which is pretty exciting. Um, and I think that he is somehow involved in this um, in this conference, and probably one of the reasons that it's being held in Kigali City um, in 2018. I have a request currently out to the Guttemacher Institute um, with my CV um, to let them know about the type of research that we're inter interested in doing. Um, so I'm waiting to hear back on that, and I have identified a few other potential partners slash stakeholders, and I don't know if they count as stakeholders, but um, IPASS International, um, the connection with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, um, Students for Choice, IPASS International, and potentially Planned Parenthood International. There are also other organizations who are doing similar work, um, and I would, part of my deliverable, I think, will be uh, to do an interview um, and or connection with those, which is um, Women on Web um, or Women on Waves, um, but Women on Web is their online medication abortion um, component, and um, to be in contact with the Ministry of Health in Rwanda. One of the other major updates um, is that we did pick dates for our travel. So we will be going, leaving for Rwanda July 5th and we'll be coming back July 15th. So we'll be there 10 days. Um, and um, I will be planning our time there and mapping out the contacts and um, setting up the meetings um, for the time that we're there um, working with Renee. And um, we have decided to bring on um, if she can attend, a uh, nurse practitioner who we both have worked with for a very long time, Anne Hildreth, um, who we think will be very helpful um, to um, collecting data and facilitating good conversation. Um, and an extra set of hands never hurts. Um, plus, it'll be very nice to travel with her. So um, we're working on the logistics of, of being able to bring her as well. And I think the last significant update from this week um, is I have a meeting scheduled with Travis on Sunday to talk about um, the potential of not moving into launch next trimester, recognizing that the, the volume of work that I have to do is, um, is quite large. And even though I've drilled down this project from <laughs> potentially opening an abortion clinic to um, conducting and potentially publishing research, I'm not sure if, and I, and I am tied to the idea that this, um, my capstone project feels like a finished project when I'm done. So um, I'm toying with, is my capstone the research proposal, like a completed research proposal and, uh, con and us con 
conducting the research, um, but having it be in a stage of process um, when I actually go to present in August of next um, for next trimester? Or do I take next trimester as a leave of absence, continue working on this work, and then launch in fall of 2018 and finish my capstone um, in, I think that would put me in January. And so I think on a personal level, I would rather capstone with my peers, um, but on a professional and on a graduate school level, it would feel really nice to present my capstone when this entire endeavor is done, including the potential of going back to Rwanda in November um, to present at the conference. So um, I'm gonna talk to Travis on Sunday, but uh, I'm not really sure where that's gonna land. So I think that those are my major updates for this week. Um, I am working on getting caught up on my backlog of vlogs. Um, and um, you may have seen that I uh, did set up a Trello, um, which is gonna help me to stay accountable in my actions, but also it felt very good to um, start getting some of my hard deliver deliverables down on paper. So, um, well, not on paper, on Trello. Uh, so you'll start to, you'll see action um, on those as things are um, conducted, so. I think that's all for now. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.